Hello, welcome to another video on this channel, which by the way, is called something else now. I'm sure there was a good reason for that. Anyway, I saw this video recently where these two guys pushed the dice button on Google Earth and flew to the first location that came up. And they wound up in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, which is a conveniently perfect location to film a video. And so I came up with an idea of my own. I'm gonna do exactly what they did. I'm excited and I've never done anything like this before. There's so many places I could go. I could wind up in, in Perth or Adelaide or Canberra or Hobart. There's so many places I could go. All right, I'm gonna push the button. Oh. Oh, I could probably just drive there from here. I think I'll do that. Well, I'm about three hours into my drive to Idaho. I'm in Cranbrook, British Columbia. Um, yeah, I think this trip is turning out to be equally as exciting as the Great Barrier Reef or anywhere else that I could have gone because Google Maps told me to. The more I go, the more I think it'll be difficult to get a video out of this experience. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Here you can see the lake in Coeur d'Alene. This is the biggest, one of the biggest lakes in all of Kootenay County. So that's interesting. Something cool you'll see in Idaho is the sundial here, or right next to, that's weird. Anyway, the sundial here, you can see, uh, usually it works. It's not turned on right now, so the sundial is not working. They turned it off a couple hours ago, I think. We missed it. Something not many people know about this place is this sculpture of a moose and a mouse. 
and that's part of an art piece which is also part of the lake which was commissioned for the art piece. Now the moose represents ignorance, the mouse represents death, and the lake represents the ocean. Well, here I am in my hotel. Um, it's my second day here and I already bought a sweater that says Coeur d'Alene on it, so I'm a, real, I'm a real resident of this place now. This hotel really gives a real rustic experience, mainly because there's no Wi-Fi, even though it's advertised that there would be. Um, so don't stay here if you like to be able to use the internet in your hotel room because you can't do it here. There are these street lights that are facing towards the hotel for some reason and at night they turn on and shine directly into my room and that is pretty cool. This hotel has no Wi-Fi, it only works downstairs and so I'm stuck having to read this book like an animal while everyone on the first floor gets to have Wi-Fi. Don't stay at the Ramada off of 4th Street. Won't be a won't be a good experience for you. So I decided I needed a break from Idaho, and I went over to Spokane, Washington. Um, easily the third best city in the best state. And uh, yeah, earlier I was at... What? That's weird. Oh, that's weird. Um, earlier I was at KSBS, arguably the best public TV station, and also Spokane's most famous attraction, so that was pretty interesting to see. I think I'm gonna head back to Idaho now. I've done everything I can do here. And there it is, right on schedule. All right, now for some history. The town of Coeur d'Alene was of course founded back in 2005. Um, it, so it was founded around this hotel. This hotel was found in the middle of Idaho and they decided to build a town surrounding it. Now, who is the person who decided to build the town? Well, all that credit should go to Elaine herself. Now, one thing you might know is that Elaine was a bit clumsy. She nearly drowned in this lake uh, 14 times during her career as town founder before eventually giving up and retiring to her Los Angeles home in 2011. Thank you. 